Hey guys, a welcome back to Artosis Casts. We are in the CNSL Season 6. We're in Group D of the Round of 16. And right now we're in the second match. Our first match saw Ride Sky able to take out Scan with a very decisive move despite Scan being a bit ahead. And now we're going into a Terran versus Protoss. Up here at 12 o'clock, we have Soso, aka Hani, if you might remember him using that ID in the past. Uh, his opponent down here on the left-hand side uh, of Neo Sylphid, it's Motive. Uh, you've seen this guy a ton if you watch this channel. Uh, a lot of the matches that I personally sponsor ends up playing in. And he's always in things like CNSL because Motive, not yet in ASL, but I think in the next couple years we're going to see that change. He's really just right on the brink. Like, I would put him, like, just kind of like a tier below someone like YSC, for instance, that we just saw in a previous group. Right? Like, very, very good, but not quite like the guy you expect to see everywhere. And, of course, not like a mini level or, you know, uh, something like that. A snow level. You know, the guys that are really dominant and maybe even championship quality. So, anyways, uh, this is going to be an exciting match. Like, Motive is just very solid. Honestly, stylistically, nothing sticks out. Like, he's not a carrier guy. Uh, you know, I think he's he's more of a Templar tech type of guy, but not like in a cheesy way. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have any any strong opinions, despite the fact I've casted him like a million billion games. Uh, but so so actually plays a very different uh, type of type of game uh, in TVP. Like, I really am a fan of his style. He has been in ASL before, uh, and so so like kind of. Uh, like, for instance, he might go for a later Natural Command Center. He does a lot of three depot expansions, which are not very popular. Here, it's an offensive gas, so the game is completely different. So we can't use this as, like, a great example. Uh, but he he just has some other builds where it's like, okay, well, I'll get a Command Center later, but maybe I'll have a few extra units and not take any damage, but also have a few extra SCVs. Uh, actually, I've learned a lot watching Soso's games. Definitely a, a, a Terran of his own. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of my my take on these two. I think that uh, Soso is going to be able to deal with uh, any sort of pressure. Like for instance, this Zalot coming up. Soso is not the guy who cuts corners on his early defense. Sometimes you see that, right? Where it's like, I I see people comment sometimes. They're like, "Wow, if he had made a bunker, he would have saved five Marines." And it's not quite that simple, but certainly you see things like that happen. Where it's like, "Well, if you had a bunker, you don't take damage here." But at the same time, right, Marines don't scale. Sometimes you actually want to fight with the Marines. Obviously, you don't want to fight with them and lose five of them, that type of thing. But yeah, anyways, you can see that he's being plenty careful here. Brings an SCV down. He already has three. That's more than enough to kill off this Zealot. And even making the fourth, getting his gas, getting that third depot as well. Motive looks like, yeah, he's going to go ahead and take his natural expansion right away here. Uh, is there an opportunity to attack? Honestly, I don't think so. I think this is going to have to be a game where uh, so, so, yeah, especially as he makes that bunker. Like, look, you can tell how solid he is in the early game. Like, he does not lose early on. Uh, but he should be making a factory, like, right now, I think, and then go command center. So there's the factory. Command center should come up next. And honestly, in a position like this, because this is something that arises a lot, right? Where... You get offensive gas, your opponent might make a few zealots, and if they don't waste them, you can't really counterattack. Look, he's going to try to run by. Oh my god, craziness. He really should not have done this. This was a bad move. That was a bad move for motive. Like, when there's four marines in the bunker, I think you just have to give up this idea. Because, like, <laughs> even got lucky. What if two of them had popped on this side? I don't know, man. I don't like it, but uh, Soso should be able to clean this up pretty well. But as to what I was saying before, and honestly, you can just power this down now and lose two Marines or just try to micro your ass off and maybe lose none. Uh, and oof, one hit point left. There you go. So he loses nothing and kills three. And another one comes in, but he's got four Marines. I mean, what are we doing here? In fact, I like that. Lighting a couple hits got on that one to uh, take extra damage onto the Zealot. Okay, so I've been trying to get this out, but we've had all this action of motive. This is a position that's actually, I think, favored for Soso. And in fact, he's doing exactly what I was going to talk about here. So when you get into a spot 
where your opponent has offensive gas, you made a few zealots and then their nexus without a gas, and you've gone for your gas before a command center, right? That's a position you get to in a fair get to a, a fair amount of times. Sometimes by planning, and sometimes just it just happens, right? Wow, this is a good counterattack, by the way. Holy crap, he's gonna have to pull a few probes, I think. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Honestly, I'd like to see him pull back with the Marines and target probes. That seems like a much higher value uh, situation for him. Some good micro here from Motive. Brings the Zealot up for a little bit of a flank. And yeah, it looks like that's going to be it for the Marines, but he's going to be fine. In fact, he should make at least one Marine here. Um, he might be regretting, like, maybe just slightly losing all of those Marines. That is a little bit annoying because he does have to make more. Gets a vulture out. Might need to make a tank. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I've been trying to get this out because this is such a... Th this is a position we see a fair amount. Not all the time, but a fair amount, right? So basically the Dragoons are very slow with this type of build. And since you got your factory beforehand, you can actually put a fair amount of pressure onto the map. Okay, that was good micro. Picking off those two mines. Uh, and what I mean by that, right? Like Dragoon range takes a while. Getting a number of Dragoons out takes a while. If you open up with, like, a siege tank into mines, that type of thing, you can definitely control the map. And, in fact, he's even gone for the quick starport, which is, I think, a very good idea because the robo, by, uh, you know, by definition, has to be very, very late. And you can see he actually hasn't started the dropship. He's supply blocked here. There definitely was a little bit of mishandling of what was going on. There was a lot of, a excuse me, action going on. He's trying to lay mines and whatnot. It's too bad because this drop could be mega, mega quick. Uh, still, he should be able to get something off. In the meantime, Motive taking a third base location. And, well, I think the game is going to normalize for a moment. A, draw, uh, a shuttle on the way. The dropship is on the way as well. He will be able to get the drop off before any scout occurs upon his dropship. And in fact, laying some really fantastic mines here in the main base. Uh, really do like that. Getting his engineering bay super, super solid in the, the way that he uh, approaches TVP. Honestly, like I'm looking at this setup. He's got his armory going. He's going to get turrets. He has mines in the main. He went for uh, the dropship tech, even though that was a little bit late, and that's unfortunate. Still looking really good. Now, the Dragoons are outside the natural. Here comes the dropship. Okay, the Dragoon C drops two here. So these these do have to be dealt with. He lays a couple mines. Okay, that might slow his opponent down slightly. And drops two in the main. This is all about killing as many probes as you possibly can. Ah, he's going to lose. No, he's not going to lose the dropship. I thought that would get targeted down. Uh, either way, it he actually, I feel like he could have killed more probes. Like he spent some extra time laying mines. This is actually a funny thing about these drops. I think at lower levels, you look at it, you're like, yeah, I lay the mines, and then the Dragoons have a hard time clearing it, or they die, and then I kill probes. Honestly, at the pro level, most of the time, uh, the the right thing to do is to lay your mines before you go, and then just target probes the whole time, right? Like, killing a Dragoon is not as good as killing three probes. Uh, generally, generally. Anyways, the drop did well. Soso is up by 10 workers, but there are three Nexuses for Motive. So, Motive is going to be able to recreate that probe count relatively quickly. And in fact, we can see that he's going for shuttle speed, he's going for a reaver, so he's going to put on some of his own pressure. But this setup, this setup is awesome. Look at this. Turret going up over here, turret here. Got a decent tank spread. He is sending out the dropship again since he did save it. Third base on location, going up to five factories, has a wraith out. Turrets in the main base, as well as mines. This is fantastic right now for Soso, honestly. Like, and not that Motive, it's not like a position where you're like, oh, well, you win the game. Absolutely not. Uh, Motive is doing okay. He's recovering, right? The three Nexuses does allow him to come back in that probe uh, count. He should be able to get up into the 60s relatively quickly. You definitely want around 65-ish. Uh, that's, that's generally what we end up seeing. I mean, you can see some fluctuation with that, but uh, that's going to give him a very, very solid economy. And... Definitely, I was just going to say, take a fourth Nexus as well. Uh, there's, Especially when you're scouting this third base going up, there's no way Terran can attack you for quite some time. So you definitely want to get that fourth going, and then eventually the fifth as well. Now, the Dragoon's kind of poking up. Some nice depot placement here. And in fact, 
you might make a full wall. I've actually never seen anyone make this wall here, which is weird because I've played and watched so many games on Sylphid. <laughs> the map is getting a little bit old now, so I feel like I would have seen this by now, but not really. Uh, I like that setup, though. That is going to make it very annoying to try to attack in there, and it looks like Soso -So wants to defend with minimal units. Meanwhile, on his main base, he's got the five factories. Looks like he's adding uh, a few Goliaths into here as well. Maybe just a couple. We'll see if he goes for more than that. Getting that Goliath range as well. That's very good at pushing back observers. And basically, to show you, unbuildable terrain is about that. So you have this whole area. In fact, I can go over here, right? So it's the unbuildable terrain is about there. Right below, outside of this box, you can basically build... But uh, that's the area where shuttles actually reign supreme. And you can see the shuttle coming over. So that might be part of why he's getting a few Goliaths out here with that range upgrade. Because he doesn't want the Zealot Bombs to come in. The Reavers to be dropping on top of his stuff either. In the meantime, we have Motive over here. Uh, looks like setting a pylon up. I don't think he's actually going to expand there. This is a really dangerous expansion. Because Terran will go here for their fourth almost always. And then the push distance of that isn't too, too much. Uh, you know, that's it's like you have this area that's pretty well defended, then you just like, it's like two tank distances from hitting the Nexus. So I don't think he's going to expand there, but leave a pylon, no problem. Dropship is still on the map, nothing in it. Good defense. Soso -so actually goes up to 73 workers and is still making workers. Now, here's the thing. Everything I say, for the most part, when commentating StarCraft is a general rule, the generally accepted way to play, right? And I talk about like, you generally want in TVP mid 60s for workers on both sides. These guys going somewhere else with it. Now, sometimes you, you're just on autopilot and you do this, but that's a lot of workers in 76. The army size is not gonna be that big for Soso. And in fact, he's gonna mine out his patches a bit quicker. Uh, we'll see what he ends up utilizing that for, but you have to be more careful on your big attacks because you're literally going to be about 10 supply down. What is that? That's five siege tanks. Five siege tanks less in a battle, right? If you're maxed, obviously. Uh, so just something to point out. Now, the Reaver drop zooming into the natural. Oh my god, there's no anti-air here, but the SCVs make a great retreat. Dude, he... he oh, I can't believe he did not lose any SCVs there. I honestly can't believe it. That is shocking. Uh, actually, what happened there? That wasn't random. Uh, because he dropped up here and so so drilled the SCVs down. If you drill them in this direction, they would have all died. He drilled them down and they went single file. That's actually the best way to escape scarabs because the scarab is actually targeting a singular SCV, okay? So when it targets that singular SCV, if anything gets in the way, it will dud. So when he drills them down, unless the back SCV is the SCV that you targeted, the Scarab has to get in line to go through this tiny opening that's one SCV wide, and then it's behind an SCV it's not targeting, and it has no way to get in front. So something like that glitches a Scarab automatically. That's why you want to be careful where you drop. You want to drop somewhere where they don't have a good, clean drill path. Anyways, uh, right now, so-so is pushing down, and he actually wants to take this base as his fourth. That's kind of interesting. You don't see that too, too often, but it can be very defendable if you hug this right side. See him getting into a good position. Ooh, the shuttle taking a bit of damage here. Vultures go up to help clear these uh, these reavers. Uh, a lot of speed lots coming over, but it seems like Soso -So just simply has enough here. Uh, he is going to be able to clear that reaver and shuttle combination. A lot of units for motive coming over. No tanks on the high ground. He's got really quite a spread that goes back. Zealots getting on top of everything. Great defense matrixes on those siege tanks, but they do get popped extremely quickly. Now, here come those drops coming in. A lot of unbuildable terrain here. No turrets to be seen. Some great storms onto that group of clump tanks, but it seems like Soso -So should be able to push this back. I don't think his base is going to be infiltrated, but he's going to need another round of units. You can see... Right now, both sides at about the same mineral bank here. It's about reinforcing and getting back up here. This base, I thought he wasn't going to get up, but he is for now. Getting some damage onto the that SCV count. Honestly, he's got enough SCVs to lose some, and it might actually put him into a better position, as funny as that sounds, uh, as his armies will get a little bit bigger at that point. 
But yeah, looks like this is this is Zealot going to be highly annoying. Trying to drop some High Templars out here. Gets another Storm off there. Let's take a look how Motive is doing out in the map. He has made a new Nexus over here at 3 o'clock. Doesn't have it Satra yet. Very solid base. You know, he's got just over one per patch and three cannons. Looking really good. Of course, this base has been good for a while. Still some patches as main as we have a double forge going. Defensive cannon here. Uh, could use a few more probes here, and that's pretty heavily saturated. Uh, looks like he's planning on taking this nexus as well. Probably a good one to take because when Soso -So pushes through the center, this is the first nexus to die. So you want to get the minerals out of this location uh, if possible. Soso. -So. We zoom out a little bit. He's got excellent defense. He's got a very solid factory count of eight, getting another command center to take this location. He's got some of his depots spread over there, and most of his defense is centralized here. It's like the rally point defense and then the centralized defense that kind of zones you out of this area and defends this area. So we don't know exactly what the plan for motive trying to possibly break this is going to be. It seems like right now he's mostly focusing on Doing some Zealot Bombs. We don't really have any Goliaths left in the area, so not a bad choice. And he's going to go ahead and continue that. That that has to be annoying. Like, I'm sure that Soso right now has to be thinking about getting some Goliaths out here to help. Because when you're losing two tanks to two Zealots and there's nothing else even taking damage, very, very painful as a Terran. So Motive continuing to send units out gets a second Robotics. So that's going to be mostly Observers and Shuttles coming out of it. Uh, you know, that is, uh, you know, a very popular thing right now is to go double Robo and just utilize Shuttles like you would an Arbiter. It's kind of like a quicker way to do things. Now, here we go. It runs in with those Shuttles, trying to drop them off on the Sea Tanks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was a huge Mind Drag. Another good Mind Drag as well. And it seems like this group of units is in a bit of trouble. The Zealot count is getting reduced, so if those Zealots get taken out, the Siege Shanks can fight well, but it seems like Motive has exactly enough to clear this. That was about as close a battle as you can ever get. You literally put two more units on the Terran side, and everything dies for Protoss, and you still have three tanks. Not even kidding. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, looks like so-so right now. Yeah, he's going to have to reinforce. You can see his bank is maybe a little bit high. Honestly, could use more facts. Yeah, and he he's realizing that right now, throwing down those additional factories. Uh, you know, you have a mineral only on this map, so you definitely can get high when you take that uh, mineral only quickly. You can get very high on minerals, and you have to have a lot of factories to spend that down in vultures. Also very good to mass queue on the factories at this point in the game. Uh, so, 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 maybe if he can uh, macro up a little bit more. Sorry, took the vision off there for a second didn't notice uh if he can macro a little bit quicker here keep his supply higher he's gonna have a much better chance at winning this game so 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 completes the five bases in his area by taking this location but now he's got to try to decide right like what way does he want to try to push or does he have to keep defending right that's a possibility if motive uh is a bit too strong so far motive has had control but as we see this center area filled in a little bit it gets really hard for Protoss to actually push. It's like sometimes they'll go into Arbiters. Oh my god, look. <laughs> He's going Arbiter Tribunal, realizing that that is what, where we're headed right now. Motive trying to break the center maybe one more time here. Has to be careful about that. You can see how tough this position becomes. All these green areas in the middle are buildable. So you can start getting some missile turrets in there. You see the mines laid well. Uh, you know, it, honestly... The Siege Shank spread is not great from Soso -So right now. So, Motive still has opportunities to bust locations. Right now, he's pushing up towards this uh, fifth base location. And there's only like six tanks here. So, six tanks is not enough to hold such a strong Protoss army. Drops out on top of everything, throws the Psy Storm down, and he is going to have to evacuate that command center. He has to be careful. You might lose that if you're not careful. Love this one tank inside, by the way. That's going to get a lot of value, most likely. And he does save the command center. But highly, highly annoying. A lot of vultures down here, but enough cannons that you don't really want to run into that. This is kind of the the area that you get into where it's like, oh, God, if there's three cannons, you actually kind of massacre them. Four, it starts looking pretty bad. Uh, but he brings his tanks down. So we have a massive push right now towards this bottom right. We're going to have to see how well this does. If he can clear two nexuses, that's really good. 
Uh, honestly, I think that if he tries to push into this main base, that's where you start losing games on this map as Terran. You'll get a nice position like this. You'll be like, I'm so strong. I'll go kill the base. And they are just going to grind you as you come through that hole. Very micro intensive, very difficult to break. So right now, Motive attacking in, but it seems like there are more than enough units here for Soso. A good storm on the Vultures, though. That is going to help. More reinforcements coming. Uh-oh. With the Zealot Bombs possibly coming out. No, it looks like it's going to be High Templars actually dropping storms on top of these siege tanks. And it seems now like there might be just enough for Motive. A fantastic rally into his army. He is going to be able to clean this up. And he did not lose this Nexus. He did not lose this Nexus. And he still got 77 probes. Damn, chills again. Like, that was an excellent defense. Can he keep it up? His bank is very small, which, I mean, he's spending well. But he's not mining from this location, too. Don't forget that, right? Like, uh, your, your bank is going to be smaller the less patches you're mining from as Protoss. Well, as anyone, but, like, Protoss is the only race that really gets this happening to them a lot because they get so many bases yeah your probe count's good but it'd be a lot better if you had eight probes over here and only eight probes here too right instead of 16 at the one base now looks like this nexus goes down he's going after this one again unpowers of uh, the photon cannon so he can actually get in there and just destroy the probes that's a lot of probes that's a lot of probes there he's taking another base motive right now continuing to rally out He's got the double uh, Stargate for those Arbiters. So the Arbiter is definitely going to come into play eventually. Lucky turret there catching the, <laughs> the shuttle as it rocketed out to try to save this Nexus. This is kind of a big moment. He loses this additional base. Okay. So motive right now, where are we at? He's got a fresh Nexus here. It's not saturated. Hopefully he can save some probes over to it. These patches are getting pretty low. That was his third base. Naturally, he hasn't been mining from much, so it's still pretty good. Okay, let's call that empty. This is pretty good because it's not oversaturated. And it was his fourth. And this one's really healthy. So he's actually still got a very good economy behind him, despite losing two Nexuses. Now, what are you going to do as Soso? This is what I'm afraid of. If he goes in here and tries to break this position, that's going to be good for motive, I think. It's so, again, it's so, so, so hard to break these bases completely. Right? He has all these gateways. He can throw units into you. You're pushing through a tiny choke. Storms start coming out. And all your clumped up units have a hard time. Also, don't forget the majority of Soso's -so supply. He's at 163 with 72 probes. So that means he only has about 100 army supply. It's Lots of it is here. Which means counterattacks can do great jobs. Look at that. A huge amount of Dragoons. Well, not huge, but a medium amount of Dragoons. And an Archon come in. And will do a ton of damage to this 5th base location. Soso hasn't set up a six base yet. So this is actually very important, very impactful. Siege Tank's going to have to set up at the rally. You can see he's trying to break in here. Is he making any progress? Honestly, no. The units popping out of the gateways are enough to basically hold this off. Uh, we'll see if he makes any progress towards that main base. Looks like the Dragoon's going to back up. We have a command center floating here from the main since he did lose this command. Okay, he does have some siege tanks in. Let's see if it works now. How long has he been working on this base? I feel like going back and checking, <laughs> right? Because, like, this is this is really difficult. You can see just the efficiency. And then every... He should have some DTs. See how he's making some DTs out of these gates as well? Sometimes Soso -so will be looking elsewhere. Then a DT pops out and kills everything. And it's just like, damn, man. We've now lost, like, eight tanks in here and a group and a half of vultures. Something like that. And you haven't even hit the Nexus yet. In fact, he's making another cannon, trying to make sure that uh, it's going to be slow goings. And here comes the flank, right? Motive controlling the map, killing off a base of his own, and now saying, you know what? Now let's go down and try to clear this. We'll see if that works out for him. There are a lot of mines here. His Zealot's dying very, very quickly indeed. EMP goes off, but doesn't quite catch this Arbiter. Uh, a DT popped out as well. There you go. Gets the EMP. But what did I say about... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Talking a little bit too fast, a little bit too long. What did I say about trying to break this base? Tasteless once said something that I think about all the time. If you can't kill a base, don't kill it. Okay, this actually has deep meaning to anyone who plays a lot of StarCraft. Because you'll see a base and you'll know you're like, uh, those are hard to break. And then you keep trying to break it and you lose the game over it. 
This is one of those bases. You can never break Protoss in this position. You spend way too much. It's better to just kind of set up a light containment and deal with other things on the map. Like, imagine if he hadn't spent all those units there. He could have this base still up and mining. It's back, but he could still have it. And maybe he could have, I don't know, cut off this area, right? Something strong like that. Instead, now we have motive. He's like rebuilding gateways. He's looking very good. In the meantime, Soso comes down. He's still got a pretty sizable army. He's not maxed anymore, but this is, it's a good amount of supply. Very playable. Gets in, gonna kill another Nexus. So that's strong. It's been a bit since he's done that. But this sixth base location, it just doesn't have many units there. Zaw drops coming out onto those siege tanks. He does come up with some reinforcements. We don't really have turrets here at the moment. Looks like he will walk forward with his army. I don't know about that. Mostly Dragoons and like six plus three siege tanks. Doesn't seem like a great idea. Missile turret on the way. Zalt's being dropped. Zalt's on top of the tanks are so difficult. Tanks deal so little damage uh, to those Zealots when they're not in siege mode. And in fact, this base will be just completely destroyed. Like, maybe you can save the command center, but that is a lot of damage going down onto Soso. -So. In the meantime, we have another mode of army kind of pushing up here. Maybe cutting off reinforcements. Not entirely sure what the point of this army moving up there was. Uh, but it looks like he's gonna, ooh, kind of almost a greedy aggression here, trying to get all the way up into this fourth base location. He will force a lift. I, like, he can't kill this right now. Soso -so definitely has enough to hold on to this spot. But honestly, I think Motive has played a beautiful game so far. Like, really, truly, the way he's played this has been methodical, well thought out. He's, he, like, he's moved around the map very, very well. He's realized when he can and when he cannot attack. And the thing is, Soso -So has played extremely well other than my critique of attacking into this main base. Other than that, I think he's played, like, a beautiful game. But, of course, that's a huge mistake to make. A huge mistake. So now looking at it, I mean, that's a big difference. 118 to 181 as far as supply goes. Now, there's, like, a 26 probe difference. So this 70 supply difference is really 50. He has 50 more army supply. He does have great upgrades. 3-2 against 3-2. Has that Arbiter Tech in here as well. Oh, misses that EMP. Oh, I heard something. What was that? Maybe a little storm drop he was attempting. Didn't it? Doesn't look like it went well. There were some mines there to catch it as well. Motive re-expanding to this bottom right natural. Hasn't re-expanded here yet. And obviously this base is like... This is no man's land for both players. <laughs> Not one that looks very easy to, to take at all. Huge attack from Motive coming in, uh, coming into this location. Like, this is... I feel like this is one of the better games I've seen Motive play. Really, his moves are very, very smart here. And he's going to go for a recall, and this is going to be a great recall, too. There's, like, no mines in here. Uh, so, so is moving back. I don't think he'll be dead from this by any means. In fact, it's, it's mostly Dragoons which means you just need to bring tanks back. Uh, the Vulture is just going to tank a few shots in there for him. It's very annoying. It's a good move from Motive as well, uh, but not not like a game ender, right? So, so, so going to be able to clean that. We got to look at the minerals again. Mind out, mind out, mind out. Getting very low. These bases don't last long, so getting very low. Mind out. Motive has one full base that's getting low. And another full base, so he should saturate that very quickly, and then this one's going to be gone. So he's going to be on three base for a moment, but go down to two base, and then go down to one. Oh my god, a secondary recall. Now this one could be a game ender. Zealots charging forward there. The siege tank siege up. Ah, uh, it seems like he accidentally, like, maybe right-clicked on the factory with a few of those units. He is killing some depots back here, which is cool. Another Psy Storm is going to be fantastic right there. Beautiful storms going off. Mmm, looks like Soso -So will clean it up, but he lost a, a fair amount. Luckily, his armories, I was just double-checking on that. I felt like I remember the armories being out there. In general, it's always better to build your armories outside of your main because of moves like this. There's nothing worse, and sometimes recalls come a lot earlier. He's got 3-2, but, like, if you have 3-2 on the way and they recall, or 2-1 on the way and they recall and target your armories, man, it's a, it's, it's a feel-bad way to lose a game. <laughs> okay. So we went over the economy of motive just a moment ago. 
right? Look at this, long distance mining some. Let's look at Soso. He's got seven SCVs mining this base. We'll see if he's able to keep it here uh, in a moment. Ooh, nice storm comes out. Maybe another, yeah, another nice storm as well. Zealots and Dragoons getting on top of everything. He has to pull this back, though. Way too much here for those Dragoons to deal with. And the tanks in the main still doing magnificent work defending. Okay, so he's got he's got five to six SCVs mining minerals here. Empty, empty, empty. Very low. The only thing that matters in the whole world. There's no way for Soso -So to kill Motive right now. He has to take another base. There's only two choices. There's this one, and there's this one. If you take this one, you have a threat to attack. If you take this one, Protoss should clean out this right side, and then you're kind of in this weird arc that doesn't make sense. So I think this one might be the right choice. It's it's hard, though. This He's in a tough position, right? Like, he's had a hard time remaxing out after losing his army, trying to break the main base. This is a good spread. He's got a vessel there. Very nice. But Motive has a more functional economy, so he's going to actually be able to uh, re resupply his army a little bit better than Soso -So can. Another attack. This is, again, the only, like, mining base that we have for Soso -So here. Motive gets in on top of everything, and he's going to be able to clear it. We'll see if he gets the command center or not. <laughs> not really focus firing it. Oh, I like that stasis, actually. Those tanks were being such a pain. Yeah, targeting that down that command center is very nice. It looks like this Nexus is going to die. This one wasn't remade. We're actually getting into an endgame where there's, like, no economy. Okay, so we're going to have one healthy base. Don't forget, these patches only start with 1,000 minerals. Oh, God, this is so efficient right now. This is so efficient. Look at this. One Zealot per tank. Greatest deal in the whole world. My God, really, really good. Okay, so... He's so oversaturated here, man. One storm drop and you're going to be so sad. Uh, he's literally got like 30 SCVs mining here. So anyways, uh, he's got this base. Looks like some vultures get in. Ooh, very nice. Motive trying to get this base up, but this is all he's mining from right now. Are these crappy patches and they're about to disappear. So we are we are like on the brink of no economy for both sides. Now here comes the Psy Storm. This is why you don't super saturate this late in the game. He just lost 13 SCVs to that storm. Oh, 11. Well, Zealot dropped too, trust me. 13. His SCV count went down by 13. Uh, anyways, the uh, motive over here. Yeah, getting this space. This is a healthy one. That one has to feel good. A lot of probes kind of stuck. Honestly, I would even consider it like, obviously, if you can get speed shuttles there, that's best. Even recalling out the probes at this point to really saturate. I don't know. He's got enough. Never mind. Like, if, that, if you only had, like, the seven probes, a recall would be worth it. You stack them on the gas and recall, and bam, you got, like, 20 extra probes mining. Okay, so motive right now going for another attack. This, it's weird, right? Because now we're slowing this game down quite a bit. Both of them are kind of feeling out where each other are within the game. A couple of Arbiters, by the way. We got to pay attention to them flying over here. I, I'm not sure exactly what the idea is. Maybe stasis. Honestly, stasis on the SCVs would even be strong here. It almost never is, but in this particular case, it could be. Uh, but yeah, Motive right now, he's kind of remassing. I think he's figuring out that he's in a better position by far. Or maybe not because of this base. If this base actually gets going, Soso will just get ahead. Like, it, obviously it's going right now, but I'm saying if this base is still mining in like three minutes, you better start worrying. <laughs> Okay, EMP does hit that Arbiter. Motive might be feeling pressure to, like, kill the main base or something, which I don't think is a good idea. This is very well defended. You'd be very cost inefficient to kill that. And honestly, like, not much of the map matters anymore. Okay? There's this base, there's this base, there's this base, and there's this base. And, well, there are some mineral patches here, but not a lot. Okay, so those are the only areas that super matter. So he does do the recall into the main base. Let's see how it ends up going. I don't think he's actually going to kill this base at all. Like, this was just very well defended between the mines and the siege tanks that were already placed here. So yeah, that was that was probably the worst move Motive's done all game. Again, I think he's played, like, a really good game here, but that... 
for how low the economies are, that was a very expensive army that just got, you know, recalled to its death. Now he's going for a secondary attack in here. Does a recall on top of some of these tanks. Ooh, this is so important right now. Storming that tank as well. Honestly, you should bring this army back down and target that command center as opposed to fight up here. Oh! Insane storm. We're down to 16 workers right now. Many of them about to die in this location. Motive. Man. <laughs> uh, okay, well, he definitely shouldn't attack into that. <laughs> Uh, I really feel like there's just a little bit of wastefulness going on right there. Uh, 11 SCVs to 51 probes, though, is not a position you are very uh, fond of, right? So we have, like, 55 army supply to 70-ish. And obviously a lot of spells for Protoss. Not that many for Terran. He's got a very hurt vessel here. I don't know if he has any other vessels. Obviously, in this part of the game, spellcasters are going to give you more and more value. But yeah, he's only got the one. And now pushing for this base. Okay, this... I think Motive needs this. Like, if he can kill this base or kill the probes there, he'll win. Well, maybe not just killing the probes. There's still some more probes out on the map. But, like, if he can kill this base completely, there's no mining left for Motive. He'll have to somehow get, like, one of those bases or, I don't know, retake it. But how can you retake it if you lost it, right? Like... You're going to put all of your defense into this position right now. Oh my god, is Soso going to win this game right now? A lot of units coming up. He's got to clear those mines. That is going to be a hell of a lot of dead probes. Don't forget, he does have a lot of probes there as well. So there is the potential of refilling that economy. The vessel goes back. Is one D-Matrix tank. Motive. Feeling like he can't stop this. I think Soso is going to take it. That's what it's looking like to me right now. I can't believe it. I honestly thought that, uh... <clears throat> excuse me. I honestly thought that uh, a motive was going to win. I think that one recall really, really did him wrong. Uh, you know, if he, if he hadn't utilized that recall there and instead had maybe used it when he was breaking this area to kill the command center, he probably could have killed this as well, right? Like, I mean... <sighs> StarCraft is, is so hard, so complicated. There's so many different decisions through the course of the game that change how everything is played. And this is one of those where you've got to look at it and be like, damn, it really feels like Motive could have won this. Really, really does. And I got to say, uh, if this does end the way it looks like it's about to, like, I think Motive's going to do one more attack in GG. Uh, but that's that's pretty amazing from Soso because honestly, I, I feel like a lot of Terrans might have left the game in the position he was in. But he pushed with that tiny army towards his base, was able to get it. Yeah, Motive is just unable to do anything. This He's got these vultures there. <laughs> they actually do a job there. Look at these probes, man. He's trying to get in range, but the range of the cannon is too much more than the vulture. You're never going to be able to do that. It's funny that he doesn't know. He's like, wait, I, he's never had that position, I bet you, because I never have, but <laughs> I know that that's not going to work. Okay, motive breaking in. This is not the only base he's mining from, though, right? He's still got a few patches here. Uh, dude, this is kind of insane. Motive has... Okay, okay, we really... We got to look at this mathematically right now. 29 probes to 20. He's got... Let's actually count the minerals. It's like 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Let's call it 700 minerals remaining. Right? 700 minerals. So that's like three vultures. And why am I making this hard on myself? It's four tanks in like a vulture or something. Right? So he can make like four tanks and a vulture from here. And his army is two tanks, five volts... Vessel. He made sure said, what are you doing? No! Okay, his army is tiny. Okay, I was saying that Soso wins, but... With, with Psy Storms, the shuttle, a stasis? Actually, I think Motive wins this. I have not been so unsure over the outcome of a game I'm commentating in a very long time. <laughs> this is actually, this is crazy. 
This might be the best game in the CNSL so far. Let me know in the comments if you're still here. I, I feel bad because I'm like, I think there's going to be people that tune in and have motive in the winner's match. Be like, wait, what? Artosa said he's going to win and I turned it off. <laughs> I feel like that could absolutely be the case. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> well, it doesn't matter because all the minerals are gone now. You don't even need to storm that. Okay. So we're mined out. No one has any money. Long distance mining for motive. He's sitting in an arc. He needs to protect these probes because that's all the income that we really have going on right now. Oh, good pick off. Anything you kill right now is amazing. Okay, that EMP is very, very good. It prevents, I mean, not EMP. That stasis is very good. It prevents EMPs. It prevents defense matrix. There's one high Templar in this shuttle. Oh, he gets it. He's bringing out his glides. He needs to split the glides. It's really important to keep them split so that you can't stasis both of them at once. Okay, scans. Here we go. This is the final battle. Motive trying to break everything. Does he have enough? Oh my God, I can't believe this. I switched it two times now. <laughs> I, it's so, so wins, right? Vulture's in here. It's like one Archon left as far as army goes. There's nothing in the production tab, but EMP goes off. He's gonna start killing probes. There's three tanks remaining and literally no other units. We're at 25 supply. Oh, a high Templar that just walks into things. That's it. So-so wins. My God, that was crazy.